little sad, but the corner is empty now again. No, actually I like it. When the Christmas tree is gone, I like it actually very much. Um, it is a gloomy day outside. It's, uh, it's been raining pretty much all night long and most of the plants still did not get very well. They're pretty much dead. About this corner, I don't know what to do with this corner right now because the corner is very empty. What are we gonna do with the corner? Yeah. We're gonna think of something here. It's now the cat spot. Before we start doing anything about the corner there, it is uh, time to have some food because I've been cooking meanwhile as well. So. Soup with balls. It looks like puke though in the video. It's not very appetizing. So. 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 I've made about four of these videos right now. I've made some in the past, but not like a real vlog and anything. And in these four videos, I have never really showed like who I am. I've been showing around uh, the city. And that was actually because most of the people that watch these videos are the ones that are the people that I already know. People that I have on Facebook or I have met through Rotterdam because I'm a very active Rotterdam. Um, as, a, as a Dutch guy, I have a lot of friends left behind in the Netherlands still. Uh, and it is difficult sometimes, but because of Rotterdam, I also have friends all over the world and in Greece, and it's a very nice thing to do in general. Now, I'm not going to talk only about Rotterdam, of course. I want to talk a little bit about myself. The nice thing about talking about myself is that it's very easy because I know everything about myself. My name is Maarten Jonkind. I am born in Amsterdam. I uh, am 29 years old. I'm 29 years old, I came to Greece three years ago. Two and a half, three years ago to live here in Volus. I came here the first time about 12, 13 years ago for holidays with my parents and since then I've been coming here all the sing every single time. I love to travel, I love to travel around by car especially because I'm a big car enthusiast. I love watching YouTube videos and it cannot go crazy enough. The nice thing about YouTube videos is that you can just go from one side of the world to the other side of the world, all of a sudden I'm watching some daily videos of a Dutch YouTuber, then I'm watching daily videos of some Greek YouTuber, and then I'm watching some videos of an Australian guy that is walking around with his goat. Everybody has his own hobbies, and so is mine uh, watching YouTube, so cars, and one of it is actually cooking. So while I'm talking about myself, I wanted to do some, uh, bake some cookies. Ilona's just moved off the bed. She's my girlfriend now for two and a half years. Actually, not three years, we're living together for two and a half years, but she's my girlfriend for three years. And uh, she is also one of the biggest reasons that I came here. Let's start off with uh, the cookies. I'm gonna make some uh, whole flour uh, cookies. You can make it actually with anything. They're the most basic cookie thing. It takes about 30 minutes to make. Uh, the oven is already preheated to 180 Celsius degrees. And meanwhile, I'll try to say anything about myself. Also because today is Blue Monday and uh, Blue Monday is a day for a lot of people that is not a great day. It is not a great day because it's the end of the, uh, it's the beginning of the year and a lot of people have made New Year's resolutions and it's not really coming true, it's not working, everybody is having a little bit of a downer because of the, the fact that they had a very nice time during the holidays, they had the new year coming in, they had maybe a very nice first week in the new year and then all of a sudden on that Monday it is back to work back to the stupid things in everyday life. Maybe it is a little bit hard. Here in Greece, I was lucky. Today it was great, but yesterday, as you can see in the vlogs, it was a great day. Let's kick off with the cookies now, because otherwise we're gonna have another vlog, that's, another vlog that's gonna take 20 minutes. So we're gonna start off with some flour. Flour is about 300 grams, a little less, it's okay. I always like to start off with a little less. I'm doing this without the recipe. It's something that I've done a couple of times already. And I also don't like to use a scale. I know this bag is one kilo, so I'm gonna use a little bit of this. If I need more flour in the end, I can always use it. So even though I'm born in uh, the Netherlands and I'm born in Amsterdam, it's not the place where I've been raised. I've been raised, I've been living around Amsterdam until my sixth and after my sixth we moved to the east of the Netherlands, which is in the Netherlands known as uh, the farmer's area. And I don't mind at all because they're great and awesome people. Sometimes in many ways way more social if you get to know them than people from the city. And talking about that, I got raised very much with uh, friends around me all the time. 
Sometimes having friends around you is more important than having your family around. By the way, I just added uh, three bags of sugar, uh, vanilla sugar. I like to use 120 grams of sugar and then uh, a little bit of extra vanilla sugar to give it some extra taste. I want to also give a shout out hereby to Mark and Dawa. They're my best buddies, they're still in the Netherlands. Uh, those were the guys I had to leave behind. And in the first place, I thought it was going to be easy, but now after three years, it is going to be a little bit harder every single time. Like I said, even though I made friends here in Greece, it is very cool, but having friends in Greece is not everything because I know those guys for many, many years in the Netherlands. And yeah. Now I'm gonna add some bacon powder. And the bacon powder is actually just to let it rise a little bit. A little bit of salt. Now I've known those guys for a long time and it hasn't always been just those two guys. We used to be a big friend group in the Netherlands. Of, uh, sometimes we had evenings where we were 20, 25 guys and girls actually also together. Most of the times in the parking lot, you know, those guys that you rather not see in the evening. But that's okay, just look at me, what became of me. I'm 29 right now, maybe I'll have kids in the future and I'll think the same about those groups. But I have to say, we had a lot of fun. Now I'm adding about 240 grams of butter, which I already cut up in little pieces. That's because it gets a little bit easier to, uh, to room temperature and on room temperature it's a little easier to knead. You should not let it cool down all the way because it is a chemical reaction and it works better if your butter is still cold. Now we're gonna knead. So enough about friends in the Netherlands. Why did I come to Greece in the first place? Like I said, I've been living here now for two and a half years and I've come, been coming here for a long, long time. I used to just come here on holidays and I love it a lot to come here on holidays still. Uh, every day off is a holiday and that's a, that's a thing that I missed in the Netherlands. In the Netherlands, uh, your entire life is based around work and of course work is the most important thing in your life next to love and family. Uh, because it makes you live. Uh, second of all, the people in Greece, they're very free, they're very uh, friendly, uh, they have, they're very close to their own culture still, and that does not mean that they're uh, nationalist or they're, however, there are a lot of, there's a lot of patriotism, and I don't mind it that much as long as it doesn't get to the extreme. I see way more people that actually live here by word that has to say, uh, it's a Greek word, and it's called philodo. And it's, uh, you can call it like a friendship's prize. There is not a real word actually to explain philodomo. Philodomo is a thing that you can do. It is just helping without any cause. If, some, if you see someone in need of help, help him. Came also to re the, the reason that I also came to Greece was because I've been studying here for a four to five months in Karditsa, the city almost in central Greece, and uh, I had a lot of fun there. I was all the time with people I did not know in the first place. I met the, the craziest people. They, they even visited me in the Netherlands in Easter, and again, that's a shout out to Michalis, Stergios, and Vasily, because I read Manos Vasily, sorry, Manos. Also, I met Ilona there. The nice thing about that is that at that moment she still had a boyfriend, so it was forbidden terrain for me. <laughs> However, I don't give up that fast. So after after five years we met again. Getting back to The Hague. The Hague has also been a place where I've been studying. I studied in The Hague for a couple of uh, years for military police because I thought that was my goal in life. Uh, I always wanted to become, before that, uh, a baker, so I went to an agricultural sh school where I learned the basics of uh, some food and uh, digestion and all kinds of stuff. And I had an awesome time there as well, but in the end it also wasn't what I wanted to. We've got a nice dough, and now we're gonna roll some balls out of it. Always you have to taste a little bit of the dough, even though it's not that healthy, you have to taste it. About The Hague, I, I've learned a lot during the military police period. I learned a lot of discipline. It was I was 17 years old and I started living on my own in The Hague. I have ADD. If you don't know what ADD is, it's, an, an, uh, it's called Attention Deficit Disorder, which means that my focus cannot stay on one point. It is always on many, many things around me. And that makes it very difficult for me to focus. At this moment, I love, for example, that my dough is laying here and I'm just talking to the camera and I totally forgot about my dough. 
When I was done with the military police, it was not the last thing that I wanted to do. I was 19 when I was done. I uh, found a little job afterwards at a decoration company. They used to do big events and for example, a big sports hall. They would change it within an afternoon with plants and flooring and uh, benches and chairs and tables into a big event hall. And I loved it so much that you just, with a, with a flick in an afternoon, you could change an entire space. At this moment, I um, graduated as an interior designer, interior advisor. I I have done a lot of jobs meanwhile at a lot of good companies in the Netherlands that really uh, stand out in the quality of interiors. So we're gonna start right now with the uh, rolling little balls. And these little balls, we're gonna pat them down a little bit so they cook evenly or bake evenly. I studied interior design in Arnhem. I did that for five years and I went with Da Vinci to Kalditsa where I studied uh, which translates as furniture design and wood technology. So I've learned a lot there actually, even though it was not in my own language, there were a lot of professors there on the university that were actually really teaching me. You might hear in the background some weird noises. It's not me. We have uh, the cat, Durak. You've seen him uh, all probably in the time lapse this morning when we were breaking up the Christmas tree. He loves boxes. He's right now inside a box. Durak, you guys. But still, it wasn't what I wanted to do. What I want is to have my own company and give interior, make great interior designs and uh, sell people great interiors that actually match them. Because I still see too many times that you open a book or you go onto Pinterest and you just show, or on YouTube even, like you open a YouTube page and you look for modern interior and it's all stuff straight from the book. But that's not what humans are. Humans are not straight from book. Every human is different, so that means that every interior should be different. That's enough for my career so far because I'm still building on my career. It's still small. The company name is Stex, as you can probably see on the VR goggles behind me. First batch of cookies, now the second one. So far for my career. Uh, the nice thing about Stex is that it's all mine. I'm doing it together with Ilona, of course because of that little language barrier that we have. But by the way, a lot of Greeks speak very well uh, English as well. That has been a big change over the last year. She should have the correct generation because the younger ones speak a little bit better, better English than the other one. That aside, uh, Stex is a very nice thing. It's very close to me. Uh, Stex stands for the study that I followed in Gardica. It's a short for that. So that's also linked to my past a little bit. And I just love the word because in a lot of ways, it can be misunderstood if you see it in a fast way. So I did say that I'm Dutch. Uh, I did not mention, for example, who I left behind. I left behind my two parents, my father, my mother, my grandma, and my two lovely sisters. I've got two sisters. Uh, their names are Rosa and Um They are three years, about three years younger than, than I am. They're twins. So with my parents, I share a passion for uh, Greece because, uh, I don't know, it's just because the first time that they came here, they took us the second time. Uh, I think they had their first holiday here together in Greece, not far from here. So the cookies are ready. Uh, there's not much on this plate anymore. I, it's not looking very special, of course, but it's nice for me. And we can have some cookies and milk for tomorrow morning, and especially for Ilona, for example. So the cookies are amazing. If you thought this video was amazing, leave a like and I won't make more videos. This is my fifth video. Sorry, that's a Greek insult. This is my fifth video. Uh, I will make a lot more if you would like to. And if you want to see more, then also hit the subscribe button. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.